Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Coming to you live from the basement of the Seattle apartment. And uh, NHNR, one of my fa- faithful followers who watches me on my show called the Pearl of Wisdom Show, five days a week on YouTube between the hours of 3 and 5 Eastern with Steel Flyers All Sports Network. Uh, we are a network of, of great YouTubers and uh, podcasters, writers, and everything. Uh, go check out the, the website, my, uh, Steel Flyers Network. Anyways, um, he, uh, he said, uh, is it cold there in the basement? No, it's like a warm blanket down here in the basement. It's like being in your mother's womb. With, except it's got my NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklaces all over the place. I didn't have those in my mom's womb. Should be. Everybody should have one right from the womb. But, uh, and if you want one, you know what you do, right? You do? Okay, I'm going to give you NHL picks here, by the way, if you don't know what I'm all about. I'm going to be giving you NHL picks. I'm going to be telling you about our picks from last night, how we did. We did pretty good. Up a couple units. That's all that matters. Uh... I give you picks for every game over under. If you go over to my Patreon, I give you analysis for every game. Tell me what other capper does that. Give you picks for every game and still is up units like crazy. I don't just take my favorite and say, here you go. I I give you picks for all of them. Uh, Not that whatever they do is great. I know some great cappers out there do it that way. Not putting them down. I just want to give you as much information as I possibly can. So, um, but if you, you know what you could do right now? Hit the subscribe button. Giving you the Perlo hypnosis. Hit the subscribe button. There you go. Excellent. Well done. That helps out a lot. Makes the channel greater. If I hit if I hit a thousand, I start they start monetizing me and I can make some shingles. Or whatever. Some dollars. I can make a little money. So I'm trying to hit a thousand. If you can do that, that would be great. Uh Johnny Sherfy over on the Patreon, he won the Parlay Challenge. Yeah, buddy. And uh, so he's getting a free month of, uh, of Patreon. So that's all you got to do over there. If you want a free month here, you can put your parlay down on the bottom. And if you hit, I'll give you a free month. That's what I'm going to do. It's not a challenge where you have to build points. You just have to hit a parlay. You hit a parlay, a three-pick NHL parlay. See that? It's my new thing I'm doing. It's my new thing I'm doing, meaning uh, before we, we, we had a parlay challenge and everybody, we were gaining points, but nobody got any. All you got to do is hit a parlay, and if you want, I will give you a free month of VPAL picks. Tennis, we're nailing tennis. I hit, I'm 7-2 and two in the last couple days. Overall, I'm 105 and 68, up crazy amounts of units. Uh, I just went under 500 for parlays, for NHL parlays. I think I'm uh, 7 correct, 8 incorrect, but still up units like crazy. NHL, I'm up units. It's been a difficult year this year. One of the things I found this year is that uh, tired teams are winning way more than they did before. Teams that are on, like like Carolina did to uh, Florida today, they won 2-1. And we'll get to that in a second. Carolina's in Florida. They were on the road for the whole time. Florida was at home, played the exact same amount of games, but they were at home. They should have a huge advantage in that game. And they did kind of outplay them. But Carolina did come back and win. And that's happening a lot. So I'm really going to have to study as to why that may be. But, okay, as you can see in my background, we have picks. We're going to look at our picks from yesterday real quick. And uh, see how we did. And we'll talk about the reasons why we picked the picks we did and why they didn't work or did work or whatever the case may be. Okay. 
we have uh, Golden Knights versus the Wild just ended right now. Uh, on Patreon, we had the Golden Knights and we in we had the Golden Knights and we had the over. So we nailed that for a fair amount. We had a fair amount on that. I was pretty positive about that one. The Golden Knights came back from 4-2 in the third to win that. I was like, Ee. the only reason why I didn't take, to take, I just said tired teams are winning lots. The Wild should have been very tired here. They played something like four games and six nights on the road. And the Golden Knights should have been fresh. So in the end, they did come back in the third. That's what should be happening more. Uh, I took the Ducks over the Blues and I lost. They almost came back and won that game. But I also took the over. So it we came back a little bit. But I had I had medium pearls on the over. On medium pearls is like one and a half to two and a half a unit on the under. So we probably lost a unit on that game. Here we're up about three units on that game. So uh, Oilers and Maple Leafs, I, it was play money, like small pearls, didn't like the game really much. I picked the Oilers and the over and lost, but I wasn't too worried about it. Uh, this one I'm getting just absolutely crushed on. Are you kidding me? The Sharks are winning 5-2 over the Avalanche. Um, good thing we have the over. We're ended up. We're going to end up breaking even a little bit because we have the over, and but I had the Avalanche in regulation, and that's not happening. Nobody saw, who saw that coming. Sharks winning that game, that's cray cray. Never saw that in a million years. Uh, we talked about the Panthers and Hurricanes. We did have the under on this game. Even though the Canes pulled it out, we had the Panthers, but we had the under, and it was only for one for one unit, so very small loss. Uh, Senators, I forgot to put this on Patreon, and I'm really angry because I had the Senators all day. I was so confident about it, I thought I'd already put it on there, and I didn't. And when I, I went and looked, I'm like, oh, my gosh. But you can see it on my video. I picked the Senators over the Flames. Um, I think I had the under, too. So we were, we would have been ahead on Patreon if I would have put it in. And the Canucks versus the Jets, we had the under. And I had the Jets for small pearls. So we're up, up a little bit today. But this game, that, that San Jose game, really, I thought San Jose all day. Anyways, let's get to our picks for tomorrow, shall we? Okay, uh, let's do a little bit of a refresh here, but uh, they have been really slow on their odds lately. Um, you know, it just looks like it's the same. Okay, Buffalo versus the Rangers. Eichel's back for Buffalo. That's going to give them a boost. I'm almost tempted to take Buffalo here, except Carter Hutton is in net. Um difficult to do I really don't like the line I more like the over the Rangers still can score uh, the Panarin's not going to be back but uh, with H Carter Hutton and Ned in the type of game that the Rangers play they should come pretty close they should come over five and a half not to mention with Eichel in the lineup for Buffalo and the Rangers poor defense I could easily see an over here. So over would be my play for two units. As far as the line, uh, if you really want to, throw half a unit on the Rangers. But honestly, I think it's very possible that Buffalo wins that game with Eichel back in. I don't like the energy of either one of these teams. And you're not getting enough juice to, bu to PL Buffalo. It's a really weird game. I'm kind of fady on it except for the over. Philadelphia versus Pittsburgh. Um, Philadelphia has a tough time with Pittsburgh. I what The uh, total is where to go here at six. I like the over. They're almost always over when they play. Jari will be in net. Now, I'm a Philadelphia Flyers fan. I hope Carter Hart doesn't have problems on the road, if in fact that's what they're going to do. They may keep on going back and forth between Carter Hart and and Elliot right now because Elliot's playing so well. If Carter Hart is in, I kind of like the over here. And sadly, I may lean to Pittsburgh. The line is not my favorite here. Uh, you're getting 187. My li The line 
is not my favorite. I'm probably leaning to Pittsburgh as much as it makes my stomach stick sick to say that. <laughs> but um, do we? Is there any injuries that can make me say something else here? Philadelphia has been playing a lot better. Oh yeah, that's right. Zucker's out, but Pittsburgh's finding ways to win. So I don't really like the line. I go with the over for a unit. Columbus versus Detroit. Columbus has got to win this game. Has to, has to, has to. There's no Larkin in for Detroit. There's no Nemeth is out. Uh, it looks to me like Detroit is, if you've got a boo-boo, you're out because they still are on, in tank mode. And uh, not only that, that energy gets through the room and really changes things up. Uh, it really affects the room. So... But the problem was Columbus's energy is just as, is pretty bad as well. It's a poor game to play. I got to think Columbus is going to, going to win. I'm going to take Columbus anyways. Is Safard back out again? Uh, I'm going to go with the under simply because both teams, even though Corpus Allo is in, Detroit doesn't have enough in their lineup to score. Like, they really don't. Um Detroit, Nemeth is out. Fabry, Larkin, Nemeth, Nemeth is one of their best defensemen. He's out too. Stetcher is out. They've just got like a patchwork line up there. I could, Columbus should win this like 3-1, to 4-1 to one at least. Uh, but whether they will or not, their energy, I don't like it. I don't like it right now. So it's difficult to pick them, but I'm going to pick them. Uh, I'm probably not going to pick them any more than ML, though. I don't like it even in reg. Their energy is that bad that they could lose to just about anybody right now. So you throw a unit on Columbus. Ottawa versus Montreal. We're not getting any lines here. They want to find out who the goaltender is for Ottawa. And uh, honestly, Let's look really quick. Uh, it's probably they either they're going to go back to back with Murray, who played really well. But the last time they did that, it did things didn't go well for them, or they're going to be putting their third stringer in, who is Decord Joey Decord. He's on. He's up from emergency loan from the AHL. He's ne he's he's relatively young, but he hasn't even really put the best. He was in the ECHL last year. Belleville, he, like he's not a guy. He's they're got to be going with Murray back to back. Um, and not only that, Ottawa is playing back to back. So I'm taking Montreal in regulation here. And um, these teams seem to play over a lot. So. Probably lean to the over, but I bet you it's six and a half, right? If it's six and a half. Yeah, it's showing six and a half at Bodog right now, but we haven't got more here. So if it's six and a half, maybe the under. Uh, Ottawa is going to be tired. I can't see them scoring much. Uh, unless Montreal really runs it up, it should be maybe like four nothing, four one or something like that. Montreal's got to get that in regulation, though, for sure. New York Islanders versus New Jersey. I like New York Islanders' flow here. They're coming back to their old ways again. Um, I'm going to have to go with uh, New Jersey's having a tough time scoring. They're also having a tough time keeping the puck out of the net. All, more than likely, the Islanders get up early and play their normal lockdown system and keep this under five and a half. So I'll put two units on the under five and a half and two units on Islanders ML. Uh, what's that pin? Not much, 170. I don't like betting in reg with the Islanders. Uh, you could, to juice it up a little bit, put it in reg if you want. I really think they should win that game fairly handily. Uh, I looked at their, they, neither, one, neither team is super tired. Uh, they should be good to go. And if that's the case, the Islanders should probably win that game. Winnipeg over Vancouver. Vancouver, I cannot see Vancouver winning, beating Winnipeg two, two games in a row. I got to go Winnipeg here. Uh, in um, 
in regulation for 205 or 210, whatever that would be, what's the spread? Again, they are going, they have, look, they don't even have a spread um, yet, but it's probably going to pay about 205, 210, something like that, maybe even 215 actually, whoever your provider. Look at this. Oh, you got a 178 on bet online on the ML. So you could be getting 220. Holtby should be in net for Vancouver. Brassois, who's been playing fantastic, should be in for Winnipeg. This should be a six and a half, but it's a back to back. I also like the under on here. Two tired teams probably will play the under. The thing is, Winnipeg should be pissed. Most of the goal scoring will probably have happened in the first period, if that helps you at all. Carolina versus Nashville. This is unbelievably. This is where, like last year, this was a lock. Carolina's playing uh, five games in seven in eight nights. Just had an overtime game against Florida. Even a weak Nashville team who is not tired should beat Carolina here. The problem is, and I've been betting these like crazy. I've been taking Carolina. Carol, I've been taking the, the the weaker team here all year, and I've been getting burned on it because the tired teams are still winning. Um, so I really don't like this game except for probably the under. Um, even though Reimer is going to be in net, Nashville has a tough time scoring and Carolina is going to be tired. Carolina is going to play a road game defensive type system, conserving their energy to win. And they probably will pull it out. Um, I, I really slight, I really don't, I, I, I would put half a unit on Nashville because they should beat a tired Carolina team here. And I would put a unit on the under Tampa Bay versus Dallas. Uh, I got to go with Tampa Bay until I see otherwise right now. They're just flying. Dallas has been wildly inconsistent. Um, would probably, I don't know why I feel like an over here, but I probably would put like half a unit on the over, but I, I can't even tell you why right now, why I think that. Because Vasilevsky's been playing really well. Hudobin can make it difficult on any team, so I don't know why I like you over five and a half, but I will take the money line what are you getting? 163 on Tampa Bay. Well, boys and girls, that's my full 42%. That's all I have to give today. Um, thanks for showing up, coming into this fine programming. Hit the subscribe. Come see me tomorrow afternoon. I want to see all of y'all between 3 and 5 Eastern on this channel right here. Pop in, say hi. See how things are going. Again, hit just hit one three-pick parlay down there in the comment section. I will give you a free and it my NHL or I'll give you a free. I'll give you a my NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace too. Why not? I'll get Helen to stitch to sew one up for you. And uh, we're gonna Perlo dance our way out of here. Okay. Here we go. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you. Okay. Bye.